Well, hi, Ross. Scott Bell coming to you live from Maui. I got Lahaina right behind me. Got some outriggers, got some trees, some beach. But what we're talking about today is how to be an exceptional salesperson. It's 8.09 in the morning. There's a couple things that you need to know. So the first thing is, is being okay with criticism. Being okay with criticism will make you a better salesperson. Now, yes, forms of rejection and criticism do hurt a little bit, but over time, it's like a, like a muscle. It gets better. So I'm sitting out here in the public, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna spin my camera around so you can see, and then I'm gonna explain more of a story, okay? So we got cars. We got like a walkway right here, right? And there's people walking by all morning long, all morning long. And I'm out here shooting a video, and I'm getting ready, and this guy's standing over here, and he's watching, and he's like, you know, uh, I like what you have to say, but, and anytime that somebody throws a butt in there, you know that there's some criticism coming. And so he starts telling me about how I can interact better on, on the screen and, and things that I could be doing better and things that I could be using better with my hands. And I'm sitting here and I'm going, all right, that's cool. I mean, he's giving me a lot of criticism. And, and you know what, sometimes that's cool because you know, if that guy was a viewer and he, he had some stuff to add that was of value, I'd be mean, great, cool. But you know what, if I got like all hurt about it and upset, it would have ruined my day and I wouldn't be able to come out here and finish up another 20 videos. It's just something that goes par for the course. People are going to criticize you about your equipment, about your service, about your industry, about you, the way you look, the way you sound, the way that everything feels to them. And you just kind of like, hey, you know what? It's part of what part of the job. And it's just, it's something that I do. It's something that I go through. It's really not that big of a deal. Now, if it's something that, you know, really could help you, thank that person. Thank them anyway. So if it doesn't work, thank them anyway, just don't use it. If it does work, thank them and then implement it. That's all you gotta do. But you know, a lot of times people are like, well, I don't wanna be criticized. Uh, it's gonna happen. You know, one of the reasons why I wanted to make it a point to go out and shoot videos out in public is like I wanted to have one more muscle that nobody else had, right? So, you know, my, my belief was if I go out and I just shoot a whole bunch of videos out in public that I'm building, I'm building something that nobody else can do. Cause I have people walk by all the time. They go, I couldn't do that. I'm like, cool, right? I can, it's no big deal. It's like talking in front of a group. You want me to talk in front of a group? Let's do it. How many people, how long? However much time you give me, it's not enough. I mean, I could keep going, right? But you know, be able to take criticism and it's really gonna help you be a better salesperson. And I, you know what? I do know there are some feelings attached to it. You're like, oh, but you're, you're destroying what I'm creating, right? But it's part, of, it's part of the game. And as long as you realize it's part of the game, then everything's okay. It's like, if I tell you later on to expect, hey, we're gonna go to lunch and I'm gonna be five minutes late, you're like, Oh, Scott rejected me by five minutes, or Scott, no, that's not what happens. You're like, you're like, okay, Scott's gonna be late by five minutes, which doesn't happen, by the way. I'm just giving you an example, I'm never late to anything. So go through your process, figure out what you can do to, to take a look and say, hey, look, what have I been criticized about and what is legitimate and what isn't? If it's not legitimate, push it away. If it is legitimate, figure out a way to put it in your process and, and figure out how you're gonna make it work. But you know what? The problem with a lot of salespeople is, is they take that criticism right as it happened. Like that guy told me during my presentation that this thing, or you don't know how to present right. Look, push that away, deal with it later. Deal with the criticism after the call, not during it. Because then what happens is it creates you with this problem to react to the situation instead of responding, okay? So learn how to deal with criticism, it'll help you out. Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that'd be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there is like a subscribe button. Subscribe, and then send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, StumbleUpon, send it all out. Scott Sullivan Bell coming to you live from Maui. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.